Well, here we are at Windmill Tump near the village of Rodmartin in Gloucestershire at a very splendid example of a Neolithic long barrow. It's situated here in the rolling countryside of the Cotswolds in an area where there are a great many long barrows. Now this long barrow is essentially a burial monument from around about 3800 BC and it was built by the first farmers who came into this area, people that we know as the Neolithic farming community. There's two different kinds of long barrows in the Cotswolds. Some of them, like Nymsfield, have their chamber at the end of the mound and you access it through the forecourt. In other cases, the chambers are accessible by short passages leading in from the side of the mound. And what we have here at Windmill Tump as an example of that. The side chambers are where they originally put the burials and all of them would have been used for burials. And in this barrow, there were probably about 35 or 40 people buried. At the end of the excavations in the 1930s, they did, of course, refill the chambers. So we can't see them anymore and we can't get into them. But we can just about make out behind me the evidence for where the passage led out of the side of the mound down into the chamber. Well, behind me is the forecourt, which in a sense was the arena in which the ceremonies and activities took place around the barrow. Now in this case, because there's no entrance into the chambers at the back of the forecourt, we have instead a couple of large stones which are all that's left of what's often referred to as a false portal. In other words, it was a replica gateway or replica entrance into the tomb, but it didn't actually take you anywhere. In the forecourt, we might expect to find hearths and we might expect to find some of the relics of what was going on there in the past. And it's possible that they put some of those things on the wall of the forecourt as part of those ceremonies.